everybody. Sorry I didn't get back yesterday, um, but today I'm here and we're gonna make this block, which is right here. I hung a little board so we could see it. And we're going to, okay. So if you have all your pieces cut out, remember um, the two and seven eighths um, background and the red or brown, uh, black or whatever color you chose. So now we're gonna sew on each side of the line and I'm gonna just get right into it. And so each side, quarter inch, and then I just kind of have them all ready and laid out here. So all I have to do is pick them up and then just feed them through one side and then flip it and feed the other side through. And there's another one. And another. I don't know if you've already done this step or if you're gonna do it right now. I hope my instructions made some sense in what I was saying. Uh, I know that um, Marie said that it made sense to her, so she was probably doing it ahead. Uh-oh. Okay, let me keep going. I don't know if I have too many of these or not, but I'll find out in the end. And um, let me see what I can talk about. Um, oh, I'm having a de-stash tomorrow, uh, Sunday, on my de-stash page, if anybody's interested. I got a lot of odds and ends to get rid of. I have so much fabric coming in that it's, I don't have room back there. It's, it's uh, taking over. So if you're interested in that, you can go um, to my B-Stash page and request um, to get on there and I'll, I'll let you on. But I have it closed, really. It's not public. Okay, so let's keep going here. And if you see what I'm doing, I'm just feeding one in after another. Um, it, it goes a lot faster than the stopping and starting and reloading and or reloading. I mean, you know, repositioning. Okay. It's really hot here today. How is it where you guys are? Rainy? Some of you I know. Louisiana getting hit hard. It's just hot here. Not too bad. Um, well, Hunka says it's bad. He's out there working in the, the rock garden. Um, okay, so. Let me get these cut apart. Okay, so I have all of them sewed on each side. And now I'm gonna just cut on my line that I drew. And you're gonna press those, press the light to the dark when you press your triangles. Some of you might use, well, I don't know if you use a triangle paper or not. I, I don't know, I hate ripping off the paper, so I don't really like using triangle paper, but some people don't mind it. I guess it goes pretty quick if you use that. Um, I did a couple quilts. Actually, I did a pineapple quilt with the pineapple paper and I still have it over there with all the paper attached because I don't want to do it. The paper's probably so rotted it'll fall off right now, but. Okay, so I'm gonna iron up light, <clears throat> excuse me, to the dark. Uh-oh. I think my iron might've went out. Oh, hello. It did. So I have this little iron. I don't know if you guys have a little iron by your ironing your side of your table or not, but this is a Rowenta, a little mini one, and it gets hot. I love it. Um, it's nice weight. And then I have, um, I've ordered some of the new colors that they're coming out with, and I'm hoping to get those soon. So I'll, I'll have those on my side and I'll actually use one and show you. And I did order myself the pink of the big, um, the big iron, um, mm, what's that name? I can't remember. Anyway. But this is Rowenta. I had a couple other little ones, but I just, they didn't get hot. And they're light, so it doesn't feel like, you know, there's any real pressing going on. And I hardly ever use my big iron anymore because I'm always over here. Unless it's a huge quilt, I'll get up and go over there and iron. But for the most part, I'm just right here, all of it. And I haven't tried one of those new um, wool pressing mats. I, I have to get one and try it. My friend Carol has one, and she loves it. So it would fit right here, but um, this one's working fine, so I don't really need to get one right now, but I guess that's the new thing is the wool cutting mats. Okay, so, sorry, I keep talking and moving. Okay, so we have our little pieces, and remember, this is what we're doing. So now I'm gonna sew them together in twos. And you really can sew them all the same direction because once you flip them, they're fine. So I'm gonna put them right sides together. And I don't even trim off my little points. You can if you want. I just don't even bother. I just sew 
And you can square them up too if you want to the two and a half inches. I don't do that either, but it always seems to work out fine. So now I've did that and I'm gonna press the back open because we're gonna have so many points coming together that it will get bulky. And then when your quilter or you go to quilt it, it you know, you hit that bump and then your machine will jump. So it's best if you press it open in the back like that. Here's my triangles. And now I'm gonna sew these two together and we're gonna need four of those for our block, okay? And again, you can pin, I don't pin, I just hold them and go for it. I just don't do all of that. I figure it's my quilt, I'm not worried about it. If I was making it for somebody, I'd be a little more careful, but I'm not. Okay, again, here's my four pieces. Oops, they didn't quite match. There's my four pieces and now I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna iron them and press the back open again so that all those seams aren't coming together and flipping over and causing you grief later. Okay, so there's that. We have a whole one and that's what we need for right here, right here, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna do these again. I'm gonna do this really fast. So, and I'll do the same thing I did before is kind of chain sew them so that they go quicker. Sew them all together. So I cut out um, some more of the um, the new toweling that I got, and I have a couple bags in process, and I'm gonna show you that. And uh, if you wanna like pre-cut for that also for the zipper bag, you can. You can cut your, uh, zip your bag fabric any size really that you want. Um, just because I was using this toweling, I did a certain size, but we're gonna use a nine inch zipper, so you can really cut your bag fabric um, 10 inches wide uh, by whatever, however long you want your bag to be. If you want it to be um, 15 inches long, cut a nine by, or 10 by 15 inches or 10 inches or 12, whatever you want. But the length you're gonna cut, I would cut um, 10 inches because we have a nine inch zipper and then once you do your seam allowances, I don't, I mean, they're really easy to make and you can do various sizes pretty quick and simple if you're just doing a, a regular bag, a uh, zipper bag. Okay, so I have one more left of these. Okay. I keep looking at Hunka because he's out there working on the bed and you know, I don't want him to come in here and say something that he shouldn't be saying while the video's going because you never know what that man's gonna say. So when he comes, if he does, you have to hold your ears. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna just press all these open real fast. So that we don't have a mess later. Like I said before. ironing and pressing. I wish I had some questions to ask, but nobody's really asked me any questions, so um, I really don't have anything to answer. Okay. All right, so now, oops, one more. So now we're going to put these again together. Okay. And then press if you want. And if you don't, I just line them up and go for it. Okay, there's two, and three, and last one. So we have those sewn together. So one, two, three, and then here's my fourth one. 
Okay, pressing open. And um, I'd really like to see your vlogs if you post them um, online, if you could tag me at uh, Daisy Cottage Quilting on Instagram. I'd love to see them just so I know that you're doing this and I'm not just talking to myself uh, on here. Not that I have a problem talking to myself because I really don't, but it would be more fun if I knew what you were doing. And have you been doing the Moda so long? Um, at the seashore, I think it's called. I love it. I'm almost all caught up. I have one block to do the new one from yesterday. I think it was the sailboat, which is cute. So I'm going to make that and then add it to my quilts. I can't wait to put that together. Okay, so we have these. We have all of these that we need for. And now we're going to sew together our things. reds and blues, orange and black, whatever yours is. This is our two and a half inches. Going to sew those together. And we need four of those. Okay. And four. Now, these I won't press open in the back. I'll just press to one side and really you can press to either side on this because I have red and blue and neither will really show through so it doesn't matter but if you want to press open go ahead and press open you can do that too but I'm not going to take the time to do that on this okay Okay, and now we're going to take ooh, our blue, which is, excuse me, my two and a half by four and a half, and we're going to lay it like this because you want the color that matches this to go here. So since my triangles in the middle are red, I'm going to go red and blue. Here we go. Line it up just like this. Can you see that? And that's what's going to be right there. Okay, so we need to do that four times now really an easy block you know there's a lot of free blocks you can get online you can just um, google free quilt blocks and it comes up with all kinds of blocks which is kind of nice and a lot of the blocks that you see are, are you know from a long time ago they're done and redone many times so you might as well look online see if you can find some free ones which is what I'm doing to get these and some of them I've made you know over the years uh, I mean so many times there's just like you know when you make a quilt and you've been sewing for a long time there's a lot of um, blocks that are repeated I hope I'm sewing these the right way because I'm not gonna want to rip great and one more Okay, so now I'm going to press these, oh this is kind of pretty, and this is just going to be a one block thing, I'm not going to make a quilt out of this one, uh, the next one I'll do, I'll continue with the Halloween fabric, but I can add these blocks to my red, white, and blue extra blocks I have, because I always like red, white, and blue. All right, so I have all of these done. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it out here. I don't know, if, oh, I guess you can see. So I'm gonna do this and this. I have to look back at my little sample. And then we're gonna go, yeah, yeah, there we go. Let's lay it out. I really hope you can see. Okay. Oh, I'm getting myself turned around with the different colors. Okay, here we go. 
because the one little block is kind of twirling around. That's what we want. Okay, is that right? Whoop, that is not right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so really the red, mm, is that right? Looks so weird. Okay. Uh oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. You get confused, so you need to make sure you look at my picture because I'm confusing myself. And then up there. Okay, so really the blacks are in opposite corners this way, and then this way they're in opposite corners, if that makes sense. Can you see my box? I don't know if you can, and I don't really want to move the camera down, but this is cute. Okay. Now I'm gonna sew together, and these should measure up to four and a half inches, um, both block, I didn't pre-measure, but four and a half inches is what you're looking for. Okay. Cute. So here's our first row. Yay! Yay! This way. Cute. Can you see that? Okay, I'm going to give it a press real quick. Okay, I'm going to sew the next row together, which is going to be you're going to put our, our big four and a half inch square in the middle. Sew that on. these videos are supposed to go because I'm not really a pro with this video thing but um, I figured you could pause it and come back to it later if you don't want to watch the whole thing now because it takes a little bit of time to make a block I can't just zip it up am I even taping oh yeah I am okay that'd be a shame if I wasn't really taping wouldn't it I'd be like what the heck I did all that work Nobody was seeing me. Okay. Whoa. Is it weird that I'm just talking to myself? I think it's a little weird, but I don't really, I don't know. And now we're going to sew it together. Cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, middle section down. Let's pin this because this is kind of a long thing and I don't want it shifting on me. So I am going to pin. Do you guys like these little pins? These little, uh, these little green things? I don't know. I, I like them. I mean, I've I have a bunch of them, and I've been using them. I think they're kind of cool. You can sew over them. I'm I've ironed over them, and it hasn't hurt them. I find I don't really break any pins by sewing over that or a needle, which would. I mean, it's like the sewing needles that I use. People ask what sewing needle I use. I don't really, I mean, I don't, I don't go, oh, I'm going to do this. I need that kind of needle or, oh, I, I dig through my drawers and I find the needle I have and I go with it. That's what I do. I mean, if you find one you like, why not? Stick with it. Okay. Got that together and now we're going to sew this one on. And we almost have a block. I hope you're sewing along with me and making yours. I really do. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. While I'm thinking about it, how does um how do you keep your sewing machine pedal from slipping down below? Do you have something that it sits on, or mine always seems to go underneath my sewing machine? 
have to retrieve it. Okay. So do you have any tips on how to do that? I've, I've used that rug backing before and had that underneath my sewing machine uh, pedal, but then it gets all nasty, so I throw it away. All right, you guys. Hey, this is kind of cute. Sorry, it's so hairy. I gotta trim it up, but look. Isn't that cute? Yay, we got a block. And I already have the pattern for the next one. So let me just tell you again real quick, this toweling that came in, I cut um, some pieces for the next the zipper bag that I'm gonna make. And um, I cut it. So what happens is if you get a half a yard of toweling, you'll be able to make two bags. No, maybe one. But anyway, this is the, the stuff I trimmed it up and then I just folded it in half after I got all the ends nice and trimmed because that big bulky uh, binding that's on the toweling or the folded edge, that's too thick to do the zipper. So you need to cut that off and then we're going to fold it in half and we're going to cut. So next video, I'll tell you how to do that. But I have the yellow one ready and then I have a, a Christmas one ready too to sew. Isn't that cute? And then I'm using the Christmas trees for the lining on this one. And I'm using this yellow on the yellow one for my lining. And while I'm also here, I'm going to tell you that I'm using um, flannel. I have white flannel in my shop. And that's what I'm using for my, my, my batting. I'm not using batting. And then I quilt it. I spray baste it on and then I quilt. And on this one, I just quilted straight lines because I thought that would look good with the direction of this. And so I'm gonna do that on both pieces. That'll be my outer piece and they'll be quilted before you put the zippers and the lining together. Okay, well, any questions, let me know. And um, thanks for stopping by. And I hope it wasn't too boring for you just to watch while I was sewing. And I'll be back with the next one soon. But don't forget tomorrow, my D-stash, if you um, wanna look at that, that starts at one o'clock p.m. my time. So see you later, bye.